Skyhawk Sports Network here with head men's basketball coach Bob Petrack following his team's 98-83 loss to New Mexico Highlands. Uh, coach, we'll just get your initial thoughts on that game. Yeah, it was a, it was a really a high-level game, and just credit New Mexico Highlands. I thought I didn't think we lost the game. I just thought they won the game. So they were excellent, and uh, all three of those guards played really, really good, and we didn't have much of an answer uh, for the quickness up top. So credit them. They're a very good team. I think we're a good team too, and, and we'll bounce back. Bob, what did their zone defense in the second half do to kind of you know, slow you guys down and you know, force you to go from shooting 58% down to 37? Yeah, no doubt it, it hurt us. The zone hurt us, and uh, we didn't execute the, the way we need to against the zone and, and need to do a better job of getting the ball inside. But uh, we didn't make any shots either in the second half. I don't know what, what was it. Not enough. So we were, what was that, 1 of 15 in the okay. second half? It's easy to zone somebody when they don't make anything. So uh, I thought we had good, clean looks, just didn't make any. I thought we made a lot in the first half, didn't make any in the second half. Tail of two halves. And, uh, they're a good basketball team. Well, we've seen zone a couple times this year. People, Other teams have shown it. What do you think was maybe the difference tonight other than just the, the shots that we had been making in, through the first six games didn't fall tonight? Yeah, we just simply didn't make enough shots in the second half. and. Against a team like Mexico Highlands, that's so good. If you miss and you take long shots, they're out of there, uh, and, and we couldn't we couldn't stop the transition. And um, you know, you're just not going to win an RMAC game in the second half if you if you can't go do do better in one of fifteen from three. So uh, we'll go back to the drawing board. This was a good test for us. We kind of know where we're at, know what we need to work on, know where we can get better. The group will stay together and uh, just keep getting better. When Barnes Tompkins started cooking there in the, the second half, just how tough is it to slow him down when you know him and Mitchell were going off like that? Yeah, well, those 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 guys are good, and then Carpenter had a good game too, and we needed to try to only have one of them have a good game, and all three did. So um, we had to do some gambling at the end a little bit that let Carpenter get a bunch of points as well. But uh, Roquan Mitchell and Sammy Barnes Tompkins are really really good players. Um, that's all I can say. They're good. I mean, you got a young team, but the way you know guys like a Quill were stepping up, uh, you know, just how much do you like to, to see the fight out of your club against a, a championship caliber team like that? Yeah, I, you know, I was really proud of our team. For, you know, for what we we're still nursing some injuries and, and trying to find ourselves, but we're very young, and uh, I think that got lost in our start a little bit. But listen, it's it's a basketball game. Sometimes it goes your way. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. Um, we like our team a lot. I think we're going to keep getting better and understand that we win or lose in this league, you must immediately get ready for the next game. So uh, no time to pout, no time to do anything. We just got to get back at it and uh, get ready for a very good Pueblo team. First half defense, you held New Mexico Highlands to just 39 points. Um, look like you hedged really hard on, on the, those pick and rolls up top and did a nice job disrupting what they wanted to do offensively. What kind of happened in the second half, you saw it maybe on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, we didn't guard it very good. They actually changed it and put it in the middle a little bit, and that gave us some problems. Um, so it wasn't on the side as much as in the middle. But the, the problem is is that the, the guards that they, are ha they have up there are mid-major players. So uh, that also helps doing the ball screen. Those kids are just tremendous basketball players, and um, we need to make adjustments to what we're doing, uh, and we will. First RMAC back to back of the season coming up with Pueblo tomorrow. Just uh, you know, how are the guys in the locker room as you guys you know immediately transition forward? Now we're very positive. You know, I, I don't I don't get negative after losses. I just you know we have to get better at some things. Uh, the, the group uh, when you're winning, it's easy to stay together. I think this group will stay together, uh, no problem. Uh, and, and we'll come back and play again tomorrow. Uh, the Saturday nights in this league are really hard. It's hard for everybody, home teams, road teams. Uh, basketball, it's a tough back-to-back, -back, but uh, hopefully we'll be hungry to play. we got to do a lot better than we did tonight uh, defensively, uh, and we're playing, we're playing a very capable, good team. I mean, all these teams in the RMAC are very good. All right, thanks for your time, Coach.